Yeah. Please tell me what you think, because I'm just I'm riffing. <laughs> yes, with with everything that you say, is I have a lot uh, a lot of questions. But the yeah, the last thing, the last thing that you say about the difference between warrior, artist, and scientist. Um, I am thinking that we have certain people in our history, you know, like Leonardo da Vinci, that he was like a science and artist at the same time, you know. And uh, I think that was something that I consider a very conscious person because he was combining different things from, from his brains, you know. He realized that he can use the scientist in him and the artist in him and then create something really different and unique and, you know, <laughs> he was exploring the atomy of the body of the human being and then he creates all these uh, uh, sketchings and, I don't know, then we have this warrior oh, yeah, that we have like about many, many other act uh, artists. Uh, so I, I wish that you go deep in that direction because I consider that in the modern time, in politics, people say that artists are lazy and they're supposed not to, how to say? Not to live anymore in our society. Yeah. We don't need artists anymore. I don't know why. I mean, for me, artists, everybody, like you say, is an artist himself. And we need artists. We need art and the expression of art, even if it's horrible, you know, because it can be the subconscious expressing there. And then they, the art makes us feel free in one way. Mm -hmm. I wonder you, if you can go and develop that idea. That, thank you. That, I'm so glad that you, um, you twinged a little bit. And when, <laughs> uh, when I, I think what I was doing, and I'm glad that you, I'm glad that, I'm glad that we communicated that, is uh, maybe creating, a diff uh, creating an opposition mm -hmm. between uh, like an artistic approach or attitude, a scientific one. Um, uh, or a warrior one, a ju justice or oriented one. Uh, and, uh, and then you uh, brought up a, an, an example of an artist who didn't have those oppositions, who didn't only identify as one thing or the other. Mm -hmm. who was both an artist and a scientist and a humanist and um, probably many other things. So uh, what that brings to mind is that like, in our world today, like, we've gone through this long evolution, this long history, where society has become more complex and developed and differentiated, and we kind of split things all off into, into different areas. So the sciences and technology, they become one area of human activity. And politics and governing and the economy, another another area, right? And then the arts and entertainment, design, another area. Uh, and so we're encouraged when we're growing up to choose one or the other and to get very good at it. And, you know, in our education, it's also preparing us for this bigger machine, you know, that society that has become. Uh, but there's also another possibility, I think, and maybe it can only is possible after everything becomes separate. The other possibility is that they become reintegrated and that we as individuals become integrated uh, so that we don't say I'm only one thing or the other thing. Like that's another version of saying I'm only good or bad. I'm only light or dark, mm -hmm. uh, or any other identity that that we that we identify with, that we associate with, like male and female, or um, there's so you know 
white and black, all of the different differences that we have. Like we have external ways that we identify, but in our soul being, like in our essential being, we share, uh, we share being, you know, with with everybody else and everything else. So that's that's the to me that's the integral idea. Like you and I met each other through the work of Sri Aurobindo and the mother, and you know, part of what they teach is uh, the integral yoga. Uh, and there are other writers, teachers, philosophers who. Um, who share this idea that of uniting the opposites and of creating a more inclusive whole. So when I talk about the artist, like I put that in quotes because uh, I, it is an archetype. Like it's something that we inherit. It's part of a cultural idea. It's part of the mind. Okay. Uh, and uh, and at another level of our being, we're not this or that or the artist or the scientist or the warrior. Like we're a more pure, undifferentiated consciousness, a more undifferentiated unity. So we can incarnate in one way or the other. And that's part of our choice. That's part of our consciousness. But what I think that we can we can do now what i feel called to do what i'm trying to do is to be more than just one thing or the other to have a kind of integral art an integral poetry okay uh, and in that poetry in that art we have science knowledge like we have the warrior we have the active like those different act archetypes i think can work together and uh they don't have to be in opposition and 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 we can do that creatively, so it can also be an, it can also be artistic. Uh, the way that we combine the different dimensions and aspects of who we are. Does that develop the idea in a way that is helpful or? Yes. Yes, this is 